about psychosis. It's a program really that's related to the first episode. Mm -hmm. So it sort of addresses some of Dan's thoughts about conception. In terms of shared decision making, it's at the heart of that program. As Sean said, it is team-based. It also, they rethought their use of psychiatric medications, particularly antipsychotic medications. And they now have by far the best outcomes in the world. But the but five-year outcomes, if you look at the first episode of patients, five years later, 80% are working or back in school. Uh, about 80% are uh, asymptomatic. And in terms of antipsychotic use, only about 20% are ready to maintain on antipsychotics. So only about 33% have ever been exposed. And also I'm saying that there's an example of a program, since everybody's really, uh, you know, the goal, of course, is to improve outcomes, of course, right? Long-term outcomes, et cetera. But just an example of a program that has, and they've been doing this since 1992, really rethought conceptions of mental illness, psychosis, conceptions of care, shared decision-making, and they've come up with a model that's certainly working. Dan Fish is involved with an effort to replicate that here. So anyway, I just thought a little bit more about what Sean's talking about. What was the age span of the Finland study? Well, they, they've been doing it since 1992. It's first episode patients. Okay. As you know, first episode patients usually are hitting around 18, 19, yeah. 20. That's right. Yeah, okay. Pat, did you have a thought? Let's see if you have. Turn on the mic. Okay. I, I